Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. Well, you may be wondering what this building is. Um, this is a test world that I've been playing in um, between my normal Subsistence season recordings. Uh, and we're in a lovely location somewhere I've always wanted to build. Um, and as you can see, I've got quite a lot established and I've actually managed to install an elevator. So let me show you around. First of all, we've got a lovely um, stairway down to the water to collect uh, water from. We've got plant beds either end of the building. Nice little run between them two, make easy access. I've got some small windows in here just so you can see the inside. Started upgrading the outside a little bit. Got a little walkway down to the rock just for quick and easy access if you're being chased by a bear. Uh, this world is about 60 in-game days old and I haven't put uh, hunters on. I have spent some time in the caves um, which was brilliant, not having those hunters in there. I uh, got to explore the caves nice and thoroughly. Um, okay, here's the interior. We've got, for the moment, this is where everything is for now. I'm going to move some stuff around. Uh, we've got the dive station up on the wall, which we needed, obviously, to get down into the cave. Uh, my normal workbench. This is a power storage cupboard, where I've kind of smushed everything in here. Uh, so we've got uh, two, four, five power storage and two mass storage. Uh, we've got the lathe. And this is where I have made an elevator. So I've made four elevator tracks. Uh, you can just see how expensive these are. Um, getting those pearls and the metal ingots. And the power and mass each time was quite a lot of work. The elevator platform really in the big scheme of things wasn't too bad it was just the power and mass 3000 power 300 mass um ingots sheets more circuit boards and crystal uh, and then i made two elevator switches and you'll see those in action shortly um again alloy sheets crystal circuit boards quite expensive but um it's uh, it's fab i've really enjoyed this um, we've got our recycler, um, wood burner, refinery, only upgraded to the power efficiency in an additional slot. I could probably have the third slot on there, but I don't think I need it for now. Um, we've got the power generator and the mass fabricator. If I just head out here, there is the elevator shaft. Um, eventually this whole wooden wall here will be glass uh, and I'm going to reinforce that floor and then the back wall that is against the rock face is all going to be reinforced metal in time. Um, I'll just take you up to the next level and then we'll come back down in a moment. So there's the uh, the elevator shaft from below. So just the four floors, which was enough work to be honest, it took quite a while. I've put these half wall, um, half windows in and I think they look lovely in this configuration. Uh, I needed four of these elevator tracks, uh, one elevator cage and then I've done two elevator switches. Okay, so let's go up to the next floor. It's amazing, I love it. Um, I've got the light on in here, we'll turn that off now. And I've got a panoramic view here. But we've also got two windows access for when I do eventually turn the hunters on. I am going to do that eventually, but not just at the moment. And then I thought we put the rug in, because uh, I did have enough cotton in this world. Um, I'm going to put a sofa down here and maybe put the uh, oven and the fridge in here. We'll see, might move some other things around. Let's go up to the next floor. Okay, oh, lovely. Look at this um, nice iron node. We'll grab that while we've, uh, while we've got it here. 
So this floor is very much still a work in progress. Um, got no windows, no upgrades done anywhere yet here. A lovely view. Um, now I kind of bumped this out um, as you can see. We've got the next floor above. Um, we've got a roof access there and we do have a, a, a doorway out. And I put another doorway in here and kind of bumped it out away from on the edge. Although we could just move that back now. Hmm. Not sure that we need it bumped out like that. It's nice to have a little bit of extra room in here, I guess. Uh, here's the access out to the roof. Started putting these half walls up just for temporary protection from animals running in because the terrain is very close here, as you can see. And then we've got the elevator shaft finishes there. So we've got a doorway here. There's the shaft going down. Little window out to the side. And I put in a ladder hatch so that I could get up onto here and service these uh, wind turbines. I might move those down onto that main deck actually. But it's, it's nice having the option. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so we can call the elevator to this floor with that button. But what I'll do is we'll run out side and down to the bottom floor. Oh, or maybe not. There's a bear. Wasn't expecting him. Now, are you still following me? I don't want to turn around and you are. No, you're not. That's good. I'm going to run back in this way. Okay, we're inside nice and safely. Lumin bears. Is he still out here? Oh yeah, he stayed. Okay, that's good. Right, so as you can see, the elevator is up on the top floor. Uh, we can't get up to that second floor at the moment, so that elevator pulls the uh, the button, calls it all the way to the floor, which I think is really cool, really nice feature. Uh, yeah, so that is what I've been working on. Um, what am I doing? Let's put some water in the uh, fire. Is there anything interesting that we can make? How much is a sofa? I don't think I've got enough stuff for this. We need five padded cloth and two, two rope. No, we can make one rope. Uh, no, we can't make enough padded cloth either. Oh well. I'll get that done in time. Plenty left to do. Yeah, so uh, I'm pretty pleased with this. It's, uh, as I say, 60, 60 in-game days no hunters on uh, oh I forgot to mention there is a mining drill just down there it fitted on a tiny tiny bit of soil that's sort of underwater uh, in the very corner of the rock there um, and it's been perfect to be honest I've been running that to get some iron ore and it just uh, works away quietly and I forget it's there most of the time uh, but no, no hunters switched on. I've been able to explore the caves thoroughly um, and pretty much just been surviving with getting lock crates as often as possible, uh, mining for ore as much as I can on buildings, uh, on buildings, on rock faces and that sort of thing. Uh, getting that refined, turning it into um, ing ingots and alloy sheets and then trying to use wood to generate the power and mass mainly because I've only got those two wind turbines in the generator to generate the power. Nice. Wish you could send it back down all the way with that as well. But anyway. Make sure I've turned all the lights off. Don't want to waste power if we can help it. I really like this rug. Listen to this. 
Nice. Kind of deadens the sound a little bit in the room as well. Um, yeah, so that's that's the uh, the alternative base, just a test base. I'm going to keep this one going. Uh, in this world, I am going to build everything that's possible. So I will eventually put a chicken coop. Um, I will eventually build a, a recurve bow, um, sofa, chair, bridge, cooker, all the pans. You know, I'll, I'll keep this one going and get this completely and utterly kitted out. Um, all of the, the walls and floors and everything I'll try and upgrade. Um, yeah, and just, just have fun in this one. Just when I want to play without recording and speaking. I could just fire this one up and play for as long as I like and just get some progress going. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little peek at this world and I've enjoyed seeing the elevator. We will get an elevator in our current season eventually but I think it's going to be a while yet. Uh, but it was fun definitely playing around in this world and, and getting it done. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.